which of these statements about Rock Lee Smile is true? I have had one of every dog size where shaved ice is my least favorite frozen treat. I love these. I love these I've so had much. One of every dog size. <laughs> Why that weird? I just have no idea. You know how dogs come in like tiny, medium, and big? Nick, yeah, yeah no, there is a, there's a hard like three count to like it, dog sizes. No, but there's if huge that is dogs too. The truth, then I'm gonna be so mad. There's no way because Nick has a cat. It's true. He does have a cat. He's had one of every dog size. It's well. the dogs. What? Before I was ever a cat owner, when I was a little kid, I had every size dog. I like both dogs and cats. That's that's not what every size. Then I answered the question they, correctly. Ever in like a discrete <laughs> sense, but not in a continuous sense. I didn't have huge because I don't consider huge to be a size. What? I consider small, medium, and large. Have you ever had a tiny dog? Yes, I had a Pomeranian. Like a really good out of, out of context quote, by the way. I don't consider huge to be a size. <laughs> <laughs> I, second question. <laughs> How are you old enough to have had that many dogs? That's anyway? a lot of dogs, Nick. That's a lot the, of dogs. the Pomeranian was not around for super long because it was awful, and we had to give it back to the the. Uh, See, the, I had um, a lot of dogs, or our family did, but we never had a small dog. There were always big dogs. What happened to the Pomeranian? <laughs> it it just would never stop barking, and when I was a kid, we lived in an apartment, and we couldn't have uh, that, so we had to give it back. I so see. did you give it back to the shelter, or yeah. like to the loan? No, no, so... not to... I'm not I mean... abusing fucking animals. I get... Well, I'm just if it went to the shelter, it probably didn't make it out of hey. here. I'm just saying. Well, what do you want me to do? I was like eight. <laughs> I... No, I... Hey, you should have picked I... the dog and ran away like a good movie star. Dude, that shit makes me mad because like we live on a floor with what sounds like a hundred Pomeranians. And I would never, ever complain to the landlord like the dogs are barking. They're dogs. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Like, hey, excuse me, Mr. Dog, you're making a lot of noise. Can you keep it down? Yeah. Like, it's a dog. Yeah. It's bringing joy to a family, and it barks yeah. from time to time. Get over it. Yeah. I had a cat uh, when I was younger that we had to bring back to the shelter. Um, partly because it hated me and would scratch the shit at me. Um, it's just how cats is. Yeah, and then and then also because my mom suddenly became allergic to cats. Mmm. Yeah. Sucked. Yeah, it's funny enough. My mom used to be allergic to cats, and then she like got over it. So it had the opposite situation. Yeah, it can it can pop up and go away whenever apparently. Just like cats. Yeah. They do pop Shreddy up and go away sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's called the cat dimension. You they go on trips. <laughs> Dog barking is fine as long as it's not consistent. Yeah, not super loud and not all the time. And this was consistent and loud. See that? Yeah, I, yeah. I can understand people being annoyed about that. But like, my old roommate's dog was just like constant shrill barking all the time. I also my new roommate's dog is like, it barks three or four times a day, like no, single cares. barks yeah. a day. Like, dude, I gotta be honest. When I hear a dog bark once in the hallway i'm like i'm happy it puts a smile on my face i'm like there's a dog over there mm -hmm. he's probably really cute i also i think this might sound ridiculous coming from me and the anecdotes that i share on this show but the older i get i think the more tolerant i become of other people's con created inconveniences like i'm at the yeah. point now where whenever i see somebody be like oh I flew from Houston to Dallas, and there was a baby behind me on the airplane. I'm like, you're a dick. It's yeah. a baby. The person yeah. is take, probably taking the baby to like see their grandparents or something like that they've never seen before. And they're like, oh, this baby, this baby cried for all 45 minutes of my flight. It yeah. was unbearable. Like, it's a fucking baby. Or, or freak out when when uh, I've, I've known people that have freaked out like when when a baby or a young child breaks something that you hand them. Yeah, it's like you know what you're getting into. That, that's what you 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 know that that is a possibility. It's not a big deal. It happens. You don't hand them like a Fabergé egg, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The best way to get out of a corn maze: give the racket back and walk away. <laughs> I get it. Or eat your yeah. way out. Um, I definitely gave the dumbest answer in Quiplash history. 
Nice. Like well, it, it might be monster time. It's not quite monster time board game, but it's it's that direction. If it's if it's on that path, then I'm, I'll be happy about it. <laughs> now, now I want to preface this by saying I love Jess's dog. Mm. Pad foot's great, but he like at, at like six a.m. every morning, she's barking nonstop, just constant barking. He doesn't bark other times. It I'll give you that. But like at six a.m., he just, he's just like, "Hello, humans! I'm awake! <laughs> I'm awake! Hello!" The name of the <laughs> clothing stuff for okay. clothing store for jockeys. Short stuff and me, short stuff and me, or the horse gap. Well, Chad's going know. like, "Well, what if I brought a baby to a movie theater? It's different. There's no baby cannon you can shove your baby into and shoot it across the Atlantic Ocean to see your family." Or take it to a doctor, maybe? Who knows, right? You can't sequester your baby and still have it arrive in a different area. You could yeah. just wait for the DVD of Phantom Thread to come out. You don't need to... Or get a babysitter, like a reason. Yeah, you don't need to bring your baby to see Mad Max Fury Road. Like, I wish no. you wouldn't, honestly. It's very Yeah, annoying. please do not do that. It, it is a little annoying, but at the same time, like, I'm not gonna disparage people who do it if they will really want to see a movie no you, you can't because now you're you're bringing an alarm to the movie no because like i don't know not everyone can afford a babysitter at the end of the day then you know just don't go to a movie don't it's just endless fussing. you can't inconvenience like 200 other people just because you want to see a movie now a big theater yeah <laughs> watch it watch it when it goes to TV. yeah just pirate it like everybody else does <laughs> A bed bug review of your mattress. Too many skin cells, bad view, or too big. You usually don't need to fly either. Oh, my, uh, the grandparents of my baby want to see their genes. Sorry, some people on the internet might think I'm a jerk because my baby cried. Because it's in a fucking tin can 35,000 feet in the air. Doesn't understand what's happening. The last thing you want to find in your cat's hairball. Your cat's ball hair. Or a secret <laughs> message. I like that. That's a great That's one. way Both too are pretty good. good. And it's actually something that would be in there, literally. So I saw, I was on a, uh, the Choosing Beggars, and there was a good one of a lady who was like, you have to work uh, from like 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day of the week, five kids babysitting, um, and you have to feed them and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And, it, and she was like, uh, and it'll be seventy-five dollars a week. Uh, wow! <laughs> and, and, and then she's like, and, 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 and in, in parenthetical, it's like, uh, um, no non-negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll be the judge of that, I think. It's a dollar an hour. What are you doing? What are you talking about, you crazy person? It's not that good. Yeah, I mean, daycare is like expensive. Kids are a, they're a real money sink. Imagine if, like, what was 18 years ago? The year 2000, right? Imagine if instead of having one kid, you had one Bitcoin. Tell me who's in a better position now, 18 years later. Trick question, yeah. the kid is Logan Paul. You're a millionaire. <laughs> and the Bitcoin got stolen by MTGOX. An appropriate song to be playing at a sperm bank. Bob Seger's Lock and Load or Love Gun. How expensive is daycare? Anyone out there, someone out there watching has a child that's in daycare. It's gotta be expensive, right? Huh? Here, I'm gonna make a guess, and I really hope it's not like a, you know, how much could one banana cost, Michael? Ten dollars sort of moment? <laughs> I'm gonna say that to put your child in daycare costs thirty-five dollars a day. Seventy-five per week, I see. <laughs> can you give it, can you give it, I, I just googled it, can you give it, can you give it a month value? Okay, I'm gonna say that you, <laughs> Let's say an average of four days a week, 140, I'm gonna say $700 a month. Alvin and the Chipmunks 12, we've run out of other safe options for films, or Alvin and the Chipmunks 12 Angry Men? So it, apparently the average is $11,600 a year or 972 a month. Hmm, so I was a little undershooting it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty expensive, like yeah. $900 on top. Of, well, I mean, uh, but you are paying kids. someone. Kids. You're paying someone yeah. to deal with your your kid, and like you True, probably like yeah. your kid, but they're shitty for yeah. other people. No, I don't blame <laughs> them charging that much, but how do people afford it? Yeah, it no, that's, I, uh, that's it's crazy. Yeah, man. the title of a musical you're glad doesn't exist. Backspace: A Day in the Life of a Keyboard, or Zootopia. I kind of want to watch Backspace. God damn it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I voted for it anyway, because I, I don't even care what the prompt is. There's so many good puns. You could, like, 
I want to escape, I want to escape from this life on the desk. I just need yeah, the a goal little was to space. Be so you could think of those kind of things. That would actually be a hit musical. Dude. Song, like straight up. I did it as an answer for a thing you don't want to see. <laughs> and one. <laughs> the kinkiest thing about 1800s pioneer sex. Being the first people to try anal or it was the first of its kind. <laughs> yeah, ma imagine in like the, the twos and you were like... <laughs> it starts spreading around. There's this other thing you can do. Yeah, it's like nobody's thought of that yet. Has anyone ever tried putting it in this hole? Because this is pretty dope. What are we, Roman? <laughs> <laughs> I mean Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like my life is starting to shift. Okay, yeah. Well, done. Let's see I thought you were going. Page now. up! That's the end of the song when they have the floor. I'm about to lose control. Yeah, you yeah, absolutely true. I feel, it true. I feel like my life is stuck in a scroll lock. <laughs> <laughs> Anal is so old. Yeah, it's probably true. Ancient. I mean, <laughs> is any, this is where we're at on the show right now, is just scanning your keyboard for inspiration for a joke. I'm gonna be AFK. What does the key do between windows and control? I have never found a reason to press it. <laughs> Wait, there's a key between Windows and Control? On, on this Corsair or Logitech, yeah, man. I don't know what it does. Oh, I've never seen one of those. Remember that little eraser that used to be there, and sometimes you control the cursor with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that would have to be an oldie song, though. Oh, dude, I told... I'm not even going to answer. I'm just hitting send on empty. You can't enter nothing watches. Because I just wrote the musical in my head. It's about like a keyboard from the 1990s that doesn't have all these fancy keys that all the new RGB mechanicals keyboard has. And he's like, he's self-conscious. But then like some master programmer or something is like, I prefer those. And he becomes famous at the end and realizes he has his place. <laughs> that actually sounds fantastic. Come up with a full nothing. name for this acronym. Do your sibling, do yourself, nothing, or don't you say. Why is there yeah. something called a wincest? Uh, you know. <laughs> well, it's it, it's the necessary corollary to lose cest. Oh. <laughs> corollary the cable guy. All of it? Internet's Somebody's gonna place. pitch the damn musical, aren't Dude, they? Dude, it could be good. <laughs> I actually think legitimately you can make a pretty good music. I don't I'll even have a function key. All I've got is F1 through F13. <laughs> <laughs> there is no F13. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I needed something to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, and then like the the douchey jock could be the that's Mac. The game. Let's see the final scores. Uh, he's German for some reason in my head. I only have one key. It does whatever you want it to be. <laughs> and all the keyboard ladies are all over him like, Oh, you're so cool, Ooh. it's just the one, the one button mouse, oh my god. I think he lacks complexity. He doesn't even need an insert key. We're just like writing the Emoji Movie too, basically. Yeah, it's it's the only thing that could be worse than the Emoji Movie, really. Unless we add minions to it. So those are the you're going oh, fuck. Apparently, uh, Rumble Muffin says industrial keyboards might have F13 to F24. Oh, let's go! Oh, holy so, you know, shit. The, the German keyboard has to be like those keyboards that are split down the middle on both yeah, sides. Yeah, like, absolutely. Crazy looking. Mm -hmm. And ergonomically oh, designed. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like we need Malf to write it. Absolutely true. <laughs> He's too busy with Putin here. I feel like this is gonna be a hit, this answer. And also this musical. I mean, I've got screenwriting programs. I Dude, I, I've already, half of it has already written itself. Yeah. So the keyboard has a friend. I don't know what the friend is yet, but it doesn't mouse, matter. Because the friend just makes a joke at the end of the song where he's like, you know, I'm not as fancy as the new keyboards. His keyboard friend goes like, it could be worse. At least you're not a mouse. Ha <laughs> ha! And then the curtain comes down. And the audience is like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Kung -kung. At least you're not a trackball.
So, like, the hit song from this musical is definitely just okay, titled Cordy, right? Ooh, yeah. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. That's, like, the main line. And where they, like, debate what orders the letters could have been and then resolve it with, like, it had to be Cordy. Oh, it has to be a keyboard high school so that you can have the nerd table be a bunch of mechanical keyboards. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, Dvorak layout keyboards. And... <laughs> can there be a rainbow keyboard the that's, like, the one advocating for LGBTQ rights? It's a Corsair that's lighting up RGB lights. The teacher's a typewriter. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Twerky. Oh, Lord. You think we could talk to Amazon and they'd fund it? Nope. Because it would be great to tear off <laughs> too, bu too busy funding uh, <laughs> Champions of Fire 3 starring me. A good joke to say while well, you're tying up in a basement. Don't count the shards of that plate, or I put the lotion on my skin. Get it. Is that a is that a Breaking Bad reference? It's a Breaking Bad. Oh. I've seen that episode. Chat, yeah. you guys are absolutely you guys are writing this. You get a writing credit, okay? Because they said they could all meet up at the space bar. Oh shit! Mm. We're drowning our sorrows at the space bar. <laughs> Can we get Charlie Day on? Try not America. to lose our shift. We'll get Netflix <laughs> to fund it, and Charlie Day will be our lead. <laughs> he can sing. So it's yeah, basically, great, actually. so just to put it in perspective, it's basically a musical that's just made up of keyboard puns. Yeah, yes. yeah, you yeah, absolutely. Pretty much, All you right. got it. Yeah. The weirdest event for which to camp out the night before? Yet another Star Wars movie or Call of Duty, Duty Shooty, World War Three? Oh my God, chat! Put they can put tab. it on their tab. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Dude, and at the space bar, they're all trying to pound each other. Oh no! But they have to enter the space pound. bar. <laughs> Are you two hundred years old? Shut up! They're all trying to pound each other. Shut up! <laughs> A great pickup. It's not even a thing anymore. <laughs> a great pickup line to use on the person cleaning up the spill you caused in the grocery store. Come here often, the floor, or clean here often. <laughs> I was looking for home, but instead I found the end. I already said that Fuck. one. You uh, even said that was the one where you were like, we're just looking at our keyboard. For... <laughs> All right, that's enough. Is it though? It could be plus or an equal, the shift key might depend. <laughs> this is like a country music keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Those don't exist though. <laughs> You're just not my type. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, the country music keyboard is the one that isn't, doesn't work in a USB port. It has like the old keyboard port. <laughs> Alright, this is a jinx. I'm just put that on it. Yep, okay. I think we're probably gonna jinx each other here. Might get two oh. jinxes. The bar could have an alt rock band playing. Okay. Oh god, too, after they get pounded, far. someone could miss their period. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from your chat. Why didn't they just pound them in the semicolon? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a colon on the keyboard. Yeah, I know, yeah, but that's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> It would be very surprising if they made a movie all about the life of a keyboard or a keyboard. Yep, there you go. It had to be done. Yeah. What Zane from One Direction will be doing when he's 40? Twitch superstar, Insta 3000 sub channel, or still playing Isaac? Yep. Okay, that's another good one, chat. That's like, um... Oh, he's been in a terrible spill. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid he's in a comma. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard the story of how I'm really good at pressing the start button? Let me show you a pause trophy. <laughs> Wait, I don't... someone gave you a trophy for pressing pause? <laughs> there's gotta be. There's gotta be a keyboard in the movie that. Uh, or the someone numb lock him up for that joke. <laughs> He's, uh, he just, he's like screaming the whole time, and then like one person looks the other, he's like, yeah, his caps lock, he broke. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good, that'd be a good bit, yeah. The worst part about having your human brain living in a robot body, becoming an actual Bitcoin miner, or can't be Matryoshka brain. 
Okay, so you can say it however you want, but there is an I after the R. There's a Y. Oh, but it's spelled both ways. Matushka! Oh. Matushka! That's, that's the Adams family. A rejected section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus literally fucks his own face or tries to buy an NES classic. Nice. <laughs> They're yeah. so hard to get. They are. Even Jesus can't get them. They stopped making them, didn't they? <laughs> Jesus's? <Yeah. laughs> there hasn't been one in thousands yeah, of years. Supposedly. Remember Who's that recurring like... character of ours, Tilda Dion? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's at least 50 more. 50 Died. more puns. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's. Yeah. There's an infinite amount. Have we done home yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my home is stuck. If you could somehow oh get God. a scroll lock involved, <laughs> I mean, that would be. Why do they still have scroll lock on the key? I don't know what the scroll lock does. What does it do? I don't know what it does either. Do none of us know? There, yeah. I looked it up on Wikipedia once. It does have a reason, but the reason is obsolete now. Like scroll lock and pause break. <laughs> I just have no had, idea. There were DOS the functions. Mm. I bought this keyboard, it's... I bought this like a month ago, why does it still have that key? Because it still has DOS know. in your computer. Also, like, insert is just really annoying. I, I think that one has a function that people still use. 99% of the time, I realize I've hit insert by accident. Because mm -hmm. I go, oh, my Microsoft Word document is typing over itself, it's, itself instead of... Uh, yeah. In like uh you know what I mean. What's whatever the other one is. Yeah. No, I, I agree. The only time I've ever pressed insert is when I pressed it by accident earlier. Or what what is the uh what is the useful way that people now. use it? I'm I'm curious about that. Because I know that people do there's only two ways. Keybread. Keybread the musical. Breadboard the musical adaptation. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> bread. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Could you guys hear that? I heard your door close. No. I heard oh, you breaking God. bread. <laughs> my, my freaking roommates started like screaming at each other and oh, arguing right when I left. What's the problem? I don't know, something about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Women, am I alright? <laughs> we argue about important stuff like anime. <laughs> Aren't you living with your brother now though? Yeah, it's my stepbrother and his uh, girlfriend. Uh oh, your stepbrother. Oh. Oh, he's in for a rough night. Locker room for activities. <laughs> oh, I guess people like games. breadboard more than key bread. <laughs> <laughs> got, got him. For the you pounded course. my shift so hard, I got sticky keys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it becomes so lewd. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, wreck attack. You won? Yep. And as a result, you get the honor of pimping your channel first. Uh, movie night <laughs> this <laughs> coming Saturday. That'll be a fun time, so come by for that. Uh, no, it was only funny once. Only once. <laughs> only once will I laugh at that. Or if you do it for an exceptionally long period of time. <laughs> Alright, that's funny again. Yep, cross the threshold. <laughs>